What's going on everybody? It's Chase again. I know, I know, it's been a couple of weeks since I dropped my last video, so I felt like I owed you guys an explanation before the start of this next video. So I have just been busy dealing with a couple of personal events. Nothing bad happened, just been really busy. So I do want to disclose that some of the videos are going to be coming out today, for example, are videos that I did shoot before I got super busy dealing with all these other events. So uh, what I have lined up for you all is going to obviously be, as you can see in the background, I do have the Mystery Off-White Dunk Unboxing. Well, I do know what I have now. I did shoot a video doing a Mystery Unboxing where I did not see what lot I had. So um, for the video, I just want to want you all to know that before it starts. And then I also have a bunch of Nike orange box drops as well lined up that I want to talk about. So if you've been keeping up with recent releases, you probably know what some of these are. And I also have a couple other pairs coming as well. So we will be covering those in a separate video as well. And finally, I did go on vacation last week. So that was another reason why I wasn't here. Uh, I went to Hawaii and I ended up picking up some items there as well. So I definitely want to talk about those and they aren't sneakers. So it's going to be a little bit different for this channel. But just want to give you all a heads up and an update about what's been going on. Nothing bad happened. I didn't die. But I had had a lot of people actually message me, you know, asking where I went and stuff like that. So that's pretty much what happened. I just got really busy. I did film videos. They just weren't edited because I simply just did not have enough time in my day to do so. But anyways, if you're still here, <laughs> thank you so much for all the support. And please enjoy this Nike Off-White Dunk unboxing video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one, all right? Stay safe and stay laced. Peace. I'm just going to pull it out. I'm going to grab it on the sides so that I can't see what's in it. I'm going to pop the top there. Now this box is just gigantic. Look at this thing. Look at the... Look at the size of the shoe box and look at the size of this box. I don't, I, I don't really understand why they sent me this box. But anyways, anyways, let's get to it. All right, so I'm covering the lot number and the actual colorway. So I literally can't tell what this is, but here is the off-white box. So here we go, I'm gonna turn it around, show you guys first. I literally don't know what lot this is. So. I'm gonna do this paper. And here we go. Is it fire? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I, I still can't see what it is. I can kind of see it. I see some purple. But anyways, let me, let me take a look now. Oh, these are, okay. <clears throat> okay, these are kind of different. I definitely never had a shoe with these colors before, necessarily. But um, I do have a pair of beater dunks that these really remind me of. So I actually actually have them in here. Let me grab those. But yeah, I really like I really like this kind of like Tiffany blue so far. It's kind of dope. The the purple or the violet is definitely not something that I've really had too much of. But I really do like this mixed rubber. I actually, I actually don't hate this colorway. I feel like I've seen a lot of people hate on the colorways they've gotten, but this colorway is pretty unique. Definitely very memorable colorway, I think. I have these like beater pairs of dunks that I've worn since I was in high school. So like I said, you know, I've been collecting those for a long time. These are one of my really old pairs, but they kind of remind me of these a lot. It's it's obviously a much darker purple that you can see on the new book on the tongue and the back, but you know, it's got like that teal and it's got like, it's kind of like got like that greenish blue turquoise color as well as like some purple on it. So I think it's actually pretty cool looking, you know, it's mostly white as well. So it's got the uh, little old green tab on it as well. I don't have, I don't have any other off-white sneakers actually. I'm not a, huge fan of them. I don't usually really chase them too much to be quite honest. But wow. I actually really like this colorway. That like really, you know, I've been hearing a lot of people talk about the materials and uh, you know, I'll, I'll do a full review at some point. I just want to keep this video nice and short. So just let you guys know what's going on. It's got that really shiny off-white text right here as well as on the heel. Damn, I got that little mark right here. So let's drop it in the comments. What do you guys think? You guys hate it? You guys like it? These were $180 retail for the leather pair. But I gotta say, these are definitely even 
probably softer than the um, the ISO uh, SD dunks that I usually do cop. <clears throat> These are definitely a lot softer than that as well. Even the uh, canvas is the woven canvas has a very has a very tight uh, weave on it, and it's super soft. Well, the material is actually pretty nice on these. Definitely nicer than a GR dunk, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned. I'm definitely going to do like a material and like design comparison, give my thoughts, and do a, a full review of these. But anyways, this is pretty much the video. Make sure you stay tuned to the end. I'm gonna definitely put some B-roll of this.